Welcome to Meditations in the Cape. As I was reading some medical papers for my practice, something caught my eye about mental health issues arising from isolation during the pandemic. Then this scripture bubbled up in my heart, Hebrews 10, 25, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. I then picture in my imagination three enemies, one stronger than the other one. The weakest one was isolation. He will come and try to convince me to do things on my own. Then he will bring his body, discouragement. And discouragement was stronger. He was trying to force me to make decisions that will lead to failure. And then he brought the strongest of the three, despair because I saw no natural way out. I then realized that the enemies were fear, shame, guilt, and failure. So we get together to avoid isolation and to exhort each other in Christ's victory, his mercy, his grace. Romans 8, 1 says, Now there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. So whenever we fail, we make mistakes, when we are afraid and we're guilty of doing something wrong, instead of isolating yourself, gather with others who will exhort you in Christ's completed work. Jesus' understanding of our emotions and the fact that he sympathizes with our weaknesses as he was tempted in all points as we are, yet he never made a mistake or fail. So we can call boldly to the throne of grace and we may obtain the mercy and find grace to help in our time of need. I want to encourage you to not isolate, but to assembly with others believers. Until the next time, God bless.